Well, it must be Blunthead Tree Snake Night. Blunthead Tree Snake, number 283. This is the only style. Beautiful, perfect coloration. Watch this come right into view. Can you see that? Beautiful baby. Blunt head tree snake, tail to head, right there. Yep, another blunt head tree snake right along the center vein of this leaf. It's a subadult. Very, very thin, as you can see. Cool. Blind head tree snake. About eight feet off the ground. Looking for lizards. Blind head tree snake. Not as small as the last one, but you can see pretty much from tail to snout in this image. About 24 inches long. Oh, but a young snake nonetheless. Very tiny bonehead tree snake. I saw it from a long ways away. I'm going to go back and show you where I saw it from. Alright, this is where I saw it from. The snake is actually right there. Once again, it's right there. Well, it must be Blunthead Tree Snake Night. As, as you can see, another snake wrapped all the way around that little twig. I'll shoot you in a little closer. We rarely see them going down. But it's a Blunthead Tree Snake going down. Well, nothing like a tiny baby blunt head tree snake. How tiny? There is my finger. Look at that guy. So sweet. Anyway, it's been a crazy night in the jungle. We've got more to see, so we'll move on. That's right, it's a blunt head tree snake stretched from limb to limb. There. And there's your blunt head tree snake. Your Mantori Sinchoa. Looking for lizards. Blunt head tree snake. A little too far for us to reach. I don't know if you can see how shiny and glossy they are. That's kind of what makes them easy to see. Those are a little bit off color for regular vines. All right. It's a blunt head tree snake coiled up. All right, here is stake number three. And it is a little blunt head tree snake, just a juvenile. But look at the camouflage. Can you even see it yet? There's his head, obviously. Look at how tiny it is. Again, this is just a baby. This is the second one we've seen tonight. The first one was way too high. Give me an idea of scale. 
That's my finger. Look how tiny that is. That's like string size. What a cutie. All right, little blunt head tree snake, have a good one. And I'm almost positive that what you're looking at is the same blunt head tree snake that we saw the other night. We literally saw it right there on those heart shaped plants. So it's about three meters away. Let's see what it's got is there. There, baby blonde head tree snake. Very strange looking. Let's give you an idea of how small and delicate this snake is. Very cool. All right, onward. A super rare twofer on the blunt head tree snakes in situ. Have not touched these guys. One complete snake. And the second complete snake. Way cool. You guys probably know this one. This is the blunt head tree snake. This is a juvenile, obviously. Look how thin it is. But look how incredibly long it is, too. All right, see a little blunt head tree snake. Let's see if I make him make him reach for this. He wants to reach for me instead. There he goes. Look at that. Whoa! I can do some climbing now. Oh, look Whoa, at that. Look at that. He's holding up three quarters of his body. I gotta keep backing up to get him in the frame. Oh, he's, he's gonna go higher. He wants to go high. Look at that guy. <laughs> On the ground, too. Well, he, he was either coming off of a little branch or trying to get up a little branch. I couldn't really tell. Cool. And a quick shout out to subscriber Jim Fleming for his recent comment. Thank you, Jim. One blunt head tree snake. Two blunt head tree snakes. <laughs>